Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, my name is Charlie Rowlands and today I'm going to be showing you an extremely fast and precise retro and VHS Photoshop effect in two minutes. Well, at least we're going to try. So we're in Photoshop, the first thing that we've got to make sure is that we are in the workspace of photography. Once we're in the photography workspace, we can make our way over and unlock the background. Then we can head over to channels and then we can head over to blue. So I want you to press Control, Shift and A. If you're on Mac, that's Command, Shift and A. Or you can go up to Filter and then to Camera Raw Filter. Once the Camera Raw Filter is open, what I want you to do is go to Basic and then to hit the clarity right up. Anywhere. It doesn't matter. You can juggle around with it when you want to play with it. Then I want you to go down to all the way to Optics, open up Optics and put the distortion to minus two. Click OK when done. Hit red, control shift A back into camera raw filter, put the distortion up to plus two, go back to basic, and then hit the clarity down to minus say 67. Press OK, and when we go back to RGB, we notice that it's given it this retro feel. To make simple additions to this, all we need to do is add a rectangle over the top, make sure it's black, then go to filter, noise, add noise, Convert it to Smart Object, press OK, go to your Blending Modes and select either Screen or Color Dodge. Both of them are very particular on the image, so just play around with which one you need. So with this one we're going to go with Screen, and then I'm going to drop the opacity all the way down to about 15%. If you want the face to pop out more so on your image and remove some bits and bobs of it, you can easily blend it by going to the Eraser tool, clicking on, Ray, ray rate, whatever that's called, the image, the layer, and then just remove some around the edges. It will be subtle enough to not overpower your image. So I hope you enjoyed today's little two minute tutorial. I hope it was two minutes. It depends if we're editing it. So I'll just get on with the outro. Make sure to go watch before I fall on my channel. Subscribe and stick around for more. And I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Woo!